pleasant good morning <clears throat> sorry <laughs> welcome to transfer structural rv we're located in Frederick, colorado we're only 30 minutes from denver international airport so if in case you guys are flying in it's not too far from that airport coming in to this location today we got an awesome unit uh, this one just came in on trade last week this one is a 2019 ram 1500 rebel uh, this one is the off-road package we're going to go over some of the features on here this one has a just a, just a touch over I think 85,000 miles, but I mean, completely uh, taking care of vehicle, completely clean uh, for a used vehicle. Of course, you guys could see from this video, nice and clean. So we're gonna go over some of the features. If you guys are interested in this unit or have any questions, feel free to comment on the slots below. And of course, we'll have a link on there as well that will take you directly to this unit. We will be taking pictures to put online a little bit later on today. But in the meantime, this video will give you an idea of what you will be uh, potentially buying in the future so let's take a quick look <clears throat> on the exterior of this unit and of course this one is a granite crystal metallic uh, color and of course the interior will be black and red uh, which is one of my favorites so checking out the front end of this unit there is a couple upgrades on here this one does come with a, a wench um, again Fog lights does a dual fog light, so it has the uh, standard RAM fog lights and of course some additional fog lights up here. Uh, it does come with those tow hooks, the RAM design, the clean up, uh, the clean front end of this unit, and of course LED headlamps for uh, driving at night. <clears throat> this one does come with uh, daytime running lights as well. So right underneath the hood, what you guys are looking at right now is the 5.7 liter v8 hemi mds vvt e-torque engine uh, it's also partnered with an eight speed automatic transmission this unit produces about uh, 395 horsepower and about 410 foot pounds of torque again all used units we get through our lot we send it through our local ram dealership here i mean this one is a ram so any of our units we bring it to our local dealership we brought this one in it was very clean all we had to do was an oil change and uh filters so again this unit is ready to leave the lot one of the cool things about this engine is it's not compact as some of the engines that you see nice and easy easy to work with but again i will leave that to the professionals if you don't want to mess around with those comp um, components within the engine Little things you could check on, window washer wiper fluid, there's different fluids here. You could actually check to make sure uh, it doesn't um, go below minimum amount on the, uh, on the fuel, uh, on the liquid. Uh, so again, that's a little stuff you could check when it comes to, as an owner, on checking on those vehicles uh, before you hit the road. Again, on the hood here, you will see that 1500 with the Hemi 5.7 liter badge. As we continue here, this one does come with that Ram logo on the door. One of the cool things about this particular unit, it does have the air suspension lift, so you can actually adjust as needed. This one is the offer package, so you do have protection underneath that vehicle. So when it comes to protection, you have the front end suspension skid plate, you have the transfer case skid plate, fuel tank skid plate so you have protection underneath this unit and again with the automatic suspension here you guys can see um, that component right behind the engine again well, I'll show you that level and switch inside and how it works but again look at the tires on here those tires are about a year old um, so it still has tons of tread life left these are Goodyear tires and the rating on this one is 275 70R18s, and it does come with the stock RAM uh, rims, 18 inch rims. Aftermarket running boards. This one does have the keyless entry, um, also has folding mirrors. On the mirrors, it does have that uh, blind spot monitor system. So that little triangle right here will light up on the left or the right of those mirrors um, if somebody's in your blind spot. Looking at the interior guys, that red and black interior does really stand out pretty awesome. One of the cool things to mention here, it does have adjustable pedals. 
Uh, that switch here will turn on those uh, extra fog lights I showed you between the wrench. Uh, does have an electric parking brake. All your light options here. On the door, you have your folded mirrors. You do have power windows, power locks, and power mirrors with that folding feature on here. One of the cool things about Ram that I love, and a lot of vehicles starting to do that now, it does have those buttons behind the steering wheel, so easy access to changing your station on the left-hand side, and on the right-hand side, you could actually change the volume controls. If we take a closer look here on the steering wheel, you could see your hands-free calling on the left-hand side. You will see that green and red uh, button over there. One is to answer your phone. The other one is to hang it up. And on the opposite side, you have your cruise control settings here. And below that, you have your gear uh, switch where you could actually put that in manual mode and uh, adjust it as needed. Again, let's continue in the back. <clears throat> it is a crew cab. You got storage underneath that back seat. One of the cool things about that, you could actually break that down if not needed, or you could raise that up for storage so stuff don't roll all over the uh, back end here. You could put it flat so you have more space here to put stuff all throughout that back seat. One of the cool features here, it does have that uh, charging system here. So you do have a 110 and two USB plugins. And of course, those seats, as you can see, fold up. As you fold it down, you got that cool effect. I mean, tons of leg room in the back here. Another cool feature I love about Ram is that storage box underneath those uh, mats again you could pull that out I always tell people you go on a long road trip you don't want to carry a cooler but you want to put you want to have some cold drinks in here you could put a couple cans or bottles in here a little bit of ice drive with it pull it as needed once you're done you could pull this piece out empty it out dry it or you could use this for tools your tie down straps your your tools Phillips screwdriver, whatever the case may be, pliers, but you have one on either side, so you have two of those storage compartments here. As you guys can see, the WeatherTech mats, so not WeatherTech, but uh, it is Ram um, brand, but again, if in case you are in a good, um, muddy area, snow, whatever the case may be, you come in here, your foot on here, you protect your flooring. Once you're done, you can pull those out, wash it out with a hose, and of course, put it back in the vehicle once it's cleaned up. Very easy to clean. And I love that interior with that black and red. It is pretty cool. Your fuel tank, this one was upgraded from a 23 gallon tank to a 26. So three more gallons of fuel. That actually goes a long way. So you have that option or that upgrade on this particular truck. As we come in the back here, this is your rear sensor gauge over here. So once anything is in your blind spot, this sensor will notify you. And of course, that's where those lights on the, uh, on the mirrors come in. It is a Rebel, so that Rebel sticker is on here, four by four. This one does come with a bumper pull hitch with access to a four pin and a seven pin hookup if you have a smaller trailer. Again, rear and front sensors, backup camera, soft release tailgate, with a full spray in bed liner on here. So nice and clean unit. And this one does come in for a rare window, as you guys could see in that center there. That window is electric, so it, it will have a switch inside that will automatically uh, open that, open those windows and close it. Tie down straps, which is adjustable. You could adjust it the length of the uh, bed. And they did add it a 12 volt plug in in the back here. I don't know if you guys could see it from here. But it does have a little compartment out pointed it so you guys can see where it's located right here it does have a 12 volt uh switch over here for charging so we will continue and again for 2019 with 85,000 miles i haven't seen any scratches on this unit as, as yet but again, nice clean unit. I love when people take care of the vehicles. And of course, when you pass it on, it does, you know, keeps it value. So let's jump inside, kind of show you the interior features. I'm gonna jump in the driver's seat today, kind of show you some of the things 
on here that I love. As you come in with those steps, it makes it easy to go in and out of that vehicle. It is a push to start unit. It also comes with a remote start and it does have that leveling switch on your, um, on your remote. So you could actually bring it down, you know, two inches. So um, you have the option of just bringing it down if in case it's too high for you to come in and out of the vehicle. I'm gonna turn on the AC here. All right, so here we go. So you do have an 8.4 inch screen. It's all fully touch screen. So you have tons of options here. Um, one of the cool things about this one here, uh, you could go into your settings. You have all your settings showing up all here. I think, um, you have options for your, your cameras. Uh, if you want to change the, 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 the date, the clock, um, there's tons of options here. You could actually do a um, mirroring of your phone on here, or you could just plug in when the USB port for Android and, and, and Apple capability straight onto your screen. Uh, this one does have the option for Wi-Fi as well. So with the Uconnect app, you could actually subscribe for a Wi-Fi hotspot on that car. Um, it has heated front seats, heated steering wheel. So you could either do it up here on your touch screen, or you could do it manually down here. Some people like the old fashioned way, like to see the buttons on here, doesn't want to go on the touch screen. So you have dual options here. So you could turn that off. Uh, all your AC controls down here, again, you could do it via touch screen as well. Your fan options, one to seven. I'm just gonna go on three for now. Again, you do have your dual AC controls, or you could actually sync it. So it, whatever the driver decide to change it with, um, the passenger will be the same. So as you guys can see, I'm syncing it right now. So I could control both sections. Coming down here, this one does come integrated with a trailer brake system. So your trailer brake system already included on this 1500. Not all 1500 comes with trailer brake, it's an upgrade. So again, the fact that it came standard from the factory with that is a good option. This is the uh, leveling switch here. As you guys can see, it's all the way up with those lights um you could see those four lights up here so if i press it down it will start lowering that truck i don't know if you guys could see it from here but i could see it but once it's done it will come it will become solid a solid line so if i want to go down again it will start blinking again once it's lowered it will show a solid line i would recommend doing that at a stop um i don't think it's recommended to do it while driving so once you are stopped in a particular area, a safe area, you could actually address that as needed. I'm not 100% sure. I kind of tell you if you could do it while you're driving. So if that's a question you guys have, um, that's something I could definitely find out for you. Traction off, con traction control off switch here, tow and haul. And of course you have your front and rear sensor switches. Again, a lot of people, especially when you're towing something in the rear and it affects your sensors you could actually turn that off so that's one of the reasons why uh, those sensors are there so it doesn't sense that the trailer is too close to you and you're pulling a trailer so um, so you have that option of turning that off on, on and again some people don't like the beeping sound they, le they like to gauge it themselves without having assistance so again you could turn that off if you're one of those persons you got some phone phone holders in here this one does come with a CD player so you have cd access here so if in case you still listen to cds um, you have the option of adding that here the same as the back you have two usb plugins and a 110 down here so you can plug in your phone nice storage in here cup holders storage smaller storage in here with a usb plug-in a bigger storage compartment down here it does have a max level so if in case you you do put something high enough you have to remember you have it there so this will not slide over but if in case you want to be able to slide this there is a max level line on there so you don't put anything taller than that level cup holders in the back we do have a center a cup holder as well over there in the back seat your glove compartment with that switch here for your um, wench so you could plug that in and use that wench as needed storage compartment over here 
you got a 12 volt plug in in here with some nice little storage this one does come with the upgraded alpine uh, sound system so you do have a sub and about nine speakers in total with the subwoofer on this unit this one does come with uni universal garage controls again a glass case holder and of course that rear window switch so you have the option here this one doesn't come standard with a sunroof but again if you want to buy this brand new or look for one with a sunroof there are those out there with sunroofs um, the newer ones do have that uh, bigger screen that would take over that whole center area there but again if that's an option for you you could go ahead and do that but this one does come with navigation already included um, on here so where are you at so you have different options for navigation or you could use your phone um, give you the map this is what it looks like it will show you traffic it will show you accidents whatever the case may be um, very cool system on this um, screen one of the things about entertainment you have different options here am fm satellite radio and of course you have your bluetooth technology you have a few usb options as well and of course auxiliary and cd so you have a few ways of entertainment and of course you could pay your phone that easy by just going through the different settings on here so very easy to uh, set your phone in here pay your phone and of course uh, set it up the way you like it this unit i did say above uh 85,000 miles i was a little bit off it is 86,370 miles but a well taken care of uh, 1500 it was a previous employee's uh well a employee's vehicle not previous employee but an employee's vehicle who traded it in he wanted to upgrade so this unit was well taken care of like i said it just been for our service um, for our local dealership here in town this unit is on the market and it's ready to leave whenever you guys are so if in case you guys are interested in this unit my number will be at the bottom of the screen feel free to give me a call text me email me um, if you have any questions about it let me know again it is a 2019 ram 1500 rebel with 86,370 miles clean interior clean exterior you you can't go wrong with that so in the meantime, thank you guys for tuning in today and we'll see you guys with more videos coming this week. And of course, stay tuned for RVs after this. Thank you very much. Have a good day.